Hey guys, Sam here, and I'm back with another video for Lawn Fawn. Today I'll be creating a card with the Toucan Do It stamps and dies, the Tropical Leaves background stencils, not fancy wavy banners, <laughs> but I will be using outside in stitched balloon stackables and starry sky stencil, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> now let's get into coloring these cute little images. Fun fact, cheetahs are my youngest son's favorite animal. He did a report on them for school in third grade, and ever since, that's his go-to animal. <laughs> I also stamped the leaves a bunch of times and the tree branch. Um, however, um, spoiler alert, they do not show up in the card. Oops, I had a plan, but that, as usually happens with me, as I was coloring and creating the card, I created a different plan in my head that did not need the leaves. So I will show you how I color them because I color them all the same, but I don't end up using them. <laughs> um, I started by coloring the first cheetah. I used a mustard color um, marker just along the edges and uh, places I wanted it to be darker. Then I used a natural beige, light beige, marker to draw out that color for the rest of the cheetah. It's really simple coloring. I added some pink cheeks, some pink for the ears, and dark spots. And then for the second cheetah, I thought maybe it should be a little bit more yellow. <laughs> so I used the same mustard brown for the shaded areas, but instead of a natural beige, I pulled the color out with a yellow, and I thought, uh-oh. <laughs> This is way too yellow. <laughs> so then I added some more of the mustard color and pulled it out with the natural beige, and it kind of toned down the yellowness. And then I thought, well, now the other cheetah is too brown. <laughs> See, there's no pleasing me. There's no pleasing me. So I added some yellow to that cheetah um, just a little bit. It doesn't really change <laughs> the way it looks much, but it made me feel better at the time. So there we go. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me which cheetah is better, the more yellowy one or the more beige one? I'm, I'm open. <laughs> I say a rainbow cheetah would be awesome, so I love all the colors. <laughs> um, okay, so this palm leaf, I guess, this tropical leaf, I started with like a teal color, pulled it out with a light blue, and then added a very light, soft like a seafoam green to the edges. So it's kind of a, um, like a tealish minty color leaf. And for the other shaped leaves, I did more actual greens, except um, to keep the highlight, I used a bright yellow. And those are the colored images. Like I said, very simple, super fun, but also I don't end up using the leaves. <laughs> but there we go. I start by die cutting out my outside in stitched balloon stackable. And then I was like, mm, which one should I use, the outside or the inside? <laughs> I finally decided to go with the actual balloon shape and I am going to add color with distress inks. And I'm just using Twisted Citron here and I'm covering the whole thing in Twisted Citron, but I'm going to keep the top right of the balloon lighter. So then I used mowed lawn on the edge and then pine needles over that and then mowed lawn again and then twist citron to kind of make it, I knew it wasn't gonna be perfect because I was gonna be covering it, but to kind of make it a smoother transition. And I'm using the first part of the tropical leaves background stencils with the same colors that I used for the background, just more pressure and um, then I use the other stencil in the set to do the same thing. And it just adds a really pretty tone on tone uh, look. I love how it looks. Of course, I couldn't leave it alone because <laughs> I am me and they are distressing. So I am splattering some of the same ink colors plus a tiny bit of black soot um, along the balloon with like the lighter colors towards the top and the darker colors towards the bottom. And for the background of the card, I'm doing the same thing. Same technique, different day. <laughs> I mean, okay, same technique, same day, different paper. There, how about that? I am using Seedless Preserves, Picked Raspberry, and Dried Marigold. 
And usually I start with the lightest color first and then go darker because to me that gives me a better blend. It's different for everybody. Also, I use Distress Inks. I probably ink blend them together 7,000 times. So, you know, like uh, all, all over each other. So um, I'm not an expert, <laughs> but I usually start with the lighter. This time I didn't and it kind of bothers me because it's kind of splotchy. Uh, especially in the purple area. But again, I knew I was going to be doing other things to the background, so I wasn't um, stressing about it. Plus, it's card making. It should be fun. I Once the ink blending was done, then I put the Starry Sky Stencil. Ooh, that was a little tongue twister for a minute. <laughs> on top of my background. Again, same thing. Use the same colors in the same areas, but with more pressure to add the subtle tone on tone stars. I did add a tiny bit of black soot to the dark purple area because it was so dark and I had you know, done the layer so much so I still wanted those to show but I didn't press very hard with the black soot. And then I thought, this looks nice but I need some more white on the card. So I used the stencil again and some white embossing paste and I didn't put any in that middle area because I knew that's where the balloon was gonna go but I really love how that texture and the color pops on that bright background. And then as I was putting the card together, I thought, hmm, I think this needs a grassy border for these cheetahs. So I'd, I just used the grassy border dies, did a quick die cut on some white cardstock, and then used Twisted Citron and Mowed Lawn and Pine Needles again to just do a little bit of ink blending on the grass. Um, just a little grounding place for my cheetahs to live. And I did did do some splattering because, because splattering. <laughs> I don't have the willpower to ink blend something and not splatter it. Believe me, I wanted to add splatters to my starry sky in the background, but I refrained because I had so many stars. <laughs> but it is a problem. I, I, I admit, <laughs> my splattering is a problem. And then I played around and decided on my scene and now I'm just going to create it. I'm going to add some foam tape to my uh, the cheetah that's walking and that takes some time because I cut it really fine. <laughs> and I'm also going to, uh, I was going to add some foam tape to the balloon, but first I'm like, don't forget the sentiment. <laughs> <laughs> How many times have I added foam tape to something and then wanted to add the sentiment there and then it never looks right. So I remembered this time to heat emboss the sentiment. I curved it around the edge of the balloon. Love clear stamps for that. <laughs> and then I um, heat embossed it right there on the edge. And actually, as I'm seeing that cheetah in the balloon, mm, that would be so cute if you made the balloon the whole scene of the card. Maybe an idea for next time. <laughs> um, so then I'm like, okay, it's now safe to add foam tape to my balloon. And then I, you know me, I'm a adhesive aholic. So not only did I add foam tape, I'm also going to add glue <laughs> when I attach it to the background because I don't want this falling off ever. <laughs> I just don't trust it. I started off scrapbooking and I don't want things to fall off my scrapbooks and I don't want things to fall off my cards. So all the adhesive. <laughs> Anywho, this is basically it for the card. It came together so fast and so cute. I love the vibrant colors and the cute little party that these cheetahs are having. Here's a little close-up of the balloon with the stenciling and then a little close-up of that cute little duo of cheetahs. <laughs> Please be sure to check out the card on the Lawn Fawn blog for all the information. Thanks again for watching and laughing along. Bye!